Hi, I'm Allison from A Well-Cultivated Life. And in 2021, I ran a live online event called the Herbally Inspired Holiday Challenge. People signed up to go through 21 days of herbal tips and tricks and ideas to help them create a more green and herb-oriented holiday. Each of the sessions is about 15 minutes, and they're designed to take you step-by-step step through this series of projects and ideas so that you can create gifts and decor for your holiday home. I hope you enjoy these sessions and that it inspires you to be herbally inspired this holiday. So welcome everybody to the 21 day challenge. This is going to be a fun time that we have together over the next three weeks. I'm really excited for you all to be here. We have people from all over the United States. We also have kind of like herb lovers of all levels in this group from beginners to experienced. So let's just go ahead and get started about um, herbal inspiration, right? So for the next three weeks, we're going to be spending time getting inspired in the kitchen and throughout your household by using different types of herbs. And tonight, really, I'm just kind of introducing, you know, what is this all about? What are we going to be doing? What are we not going to be doing? What's the schedule and things like that? Not only are we going to be inspired in the kitchen and just kind of using herbs, but also what I'm hoping to help you um, do is to become more inspired by plants and how amazing they are. So not just, you know, I'm chopping this up and putting it in my food or creating some sort of tea or something like that, but also just how incredible they are. And so if you have been in any of my other programs at all, or if you watch my Flower Power show on Monday nights, you'll know that one of the things I love to do is to um, inspire you with not only how the plants work, but also some plant wisdom. This is a quote I got out of one of my favorite books from Deb Sewell. And she is an herbalist in Maine. And she's just this beautiful person. In her book that she recently wrote, she wrote that she took this out of another book. But this is what it says. Beauty is not peripheral, but at the core of what sustains us. Awe and wonder ignite our imagination. We are inspired. We witness the magnificent and miraculous nature of creation. Where there is harmony, there is wholeness. The world is interconnected and interrelated. And this is a quote from Terry Tempest Williams in a book of essays called Erosion. What I love about this so much is saying that beauty and just this interconnectedness of life is really, really important to humans. And that the ability to be inspired by the amazing world, the amazingness of the living entities that are plants is just a really important part to us as humans. So that's part of what I hope that you will be um, getting out of this as well as we talk about different plants. The way that I'm going to be running this is that each day we'll have sort of a plant of the day. And I love to use these different types of, um, I guess they're called oracle cards, but um, from different people that I have. And um, I have three different decks that I chose a card out of the Herb Crafters Tarot, the Green Witch Oracle, and the Soul Flower Plant Spirit Oracle deck. So each of these has these beautiful drawings of flowers and, and different types of herbs. And so I mostly just took out the cards based on the plants that I know we're going to be talking about over the next few weeks and kind of arrange them for the days that we'll be talking about those plants. But then I thought, you know, I just kind of intuitively said, you know what, what is a good card for starting off and getting a overall point of view on what we're trying to do here? And the card that came up for that was actually 
pink rose and the word is gratitude. And I thought, isn't this just so lovely? What a wonderful sort of way to start off our time together for the next few weeks. And what I love about this is that, first of all, it's so pretty. I love the artwork. These artists are so talented. Um, is that I am so grateful that all of you trusted me to come in and be a part of this challenge and this program. But I am also just want to express my gratitude towards these amazing plants that grow and provide us. Yeah, they have medicinal properties and stuff, but they also provide us the experience of just heightening our, our senses. They're beautiful. They're delicious. They're scents, of, especially of these aromatic herbs that we're going to be working with, just all add to a much better life, in my opinion. We are talking about rose today. And so rose is um, something we think of really for in the summertime. Um, and that's appropriate because it has these sort of cooling types of properties. And it's very moistening and healing, which is why it's used so much in different types of um, skin products and so on. The book that I read, the other quote from it, Deb Sewell, she says that it has not only that, it also has antimicrobial pro properties that help you with like your sort of heartburn and digestive issues and can really kind of clear out toxins from your gut. And again, they're cooling and which means that they have kind of decongestant and cooling properties. And it's also very good actually for women's different types of situations such as pain or spasms, either premenstrual or postmenstrual, or just all the time, right? And also postpartum bleeding and things like that. And so rose, I mean, we love it because it loves us. One of the ways I like to use rose is I make a, because I live in New England, there's tons of poison ivy around here. And I make a uh, an extract with rose as if you get poison ivy, it's to put on the um, to put on the rash. So it has a couple other plants in it, jewelweed and sweet fern, that help to kind of heal up the rash. But then the rose is really healing to the skin. So this is a nice way that I like to use rose. If you downloaded the supply list, you'll see that rose is one of the sort of essentials um, because it's used in a lot of um, the tea blends that we're going to be making later on. If you're a beginner, don't try to learn everything, right? Just start with the herbs that you love. And I think that's important for everyone. Use herbs that you love, become better friends with them, and then try something new as well. Don't try to learn everything. And if you're already experienced, you can deepen your relationship with working with plants just by learning more about them using them in different ways and trying different types of preparations. So there's something for everybody, I think, throughout this whole process. Now, one of the things I wanted to talk about is 21 days. Now, why am I doing this for 21 days? One possibility is that I am insane. Some people who know me might say that is true. But uh, the other reason is that it takes about 21 days to form a new habit. So for 21 days, I really, really wanted to get you to think about each day, how can I get more herbal in my life today? And so that's kind of the reason behind the 21 days. And it also worked out really nicely because there's about 21 days between today, you know, right after um, Thanksgiving and the winter solstice, which is a lovely time to be celebrating sort of the ending of the season and the starting of the new, uh, the return of the light and the new season and the new year and so on. So I thought that would be really nice to end on the winter solstice and we'll have a little celebration there. Hopefully at the end of this, you will come out of this inspired enough to really, again, have herbs at the top of your mind and begin to just kind of bring them into your everyday life. I just wanted to say what we're not doing. And this this is not a Christmas program. This is for 
everyone, regardless of what you celebrate, don't celebrate, and so on. So we're we're not really going to be focused on specific Christmas things, although it is very very common. I do all the Christmas things myself, but I do, it's not um, specifically for Christmas. Um, it's also not a place where we're going to try to get a diagnosis for some kind of um, condition that you might have. Okay, I'm not a clinical herbalist. I'm what I like to call myself a cottage herbalist. I have plenty of training. I have a science background. I was a research scientist for many years, um, an ecologist. And so, you know, but I have chosen not to go in that direction of diagnosing and treating diseases. Although dis-ease, what I would like to help you learn is how to have more ease in your life and how to have just basically more pleasure through the senses for, from using herbs in your life. We're going to be starting with the things that need a lot of preparation. So extracts and cordials and different things that need to kind of like steep and extract together. We'll be doing those first because those are going to take a couple of weeks to be ready before you can give them as gifts or um, use them in whatever kinds of celebrations you might be having. So that is very important to get started on those right off. As we go on the next couple of days, what is the really the most important thing for you to learn about? Or like, what is sort of your intention for going through this program with me? You're gonna have to stick with me for a while. It's gonna be 21 days. So that's all I wanted to share with you tonight. And um, except one more thing, make sure you download the supply list and tomorrow night, that's what we'll be doing is we'll be going over the supply list and what are these different things and do I really need them and what do um, what should I definitely have and what do I already have at home and so on. And so you can see I'm starting to gather a bunch of my supplies down here for sharing with you. Some days I'll be here in my little office area and other days I will be up in my kitchen um, if there's a lot of kind of like wet stuff that we need to be using. So remember our plant for today is rose um, gratitude. I'm grateful and thankful for all of you for coming to um, share this herbally inspired journey with me for the next couple of weeks. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.